morning. It is 8.05 and I just got up. Um, I am probably not going to start reading for, I don't know, at least like half an hour. Um, doing a couple of things on my computer and just sort of waking up and then I will get started reading for the weekend. It is an absolutely gloomy day, which means it's perfect day for reading. So I finished my first book of the day or the weekend, and that is The Art uh, and Craft of Tea. And I've been reading on this for a while, since right after Christmas. I got this for Christmas, and I really loved this. It was such a just very compulsively readable overview of tea, how it's made, the culture, um, kind of how different things influenced the trade of tea and the way that we view tea uh, as a society. And I loved the part in the back of it. Here comes the cat with his toy. I love the part in the back of it where um, he discusses specific teas that are cultural and he gives a recipe for how to make them as well as sort of discussing how they became that the tea that they are in that culture and why they're important and giving tips on how to make them. The discussion of masala chai was so interesting and kind of the way that his um, his in-laws because his in-laws are Indian how they make masala chai and I just was like I never thought to do it that way and I really want to try it because it sounds amazing it also has a Thai iced tea recipe in here that sounds incredible and it was just really wonderful and fascinating and charming and definitely readable so if you are at all interested in tea tea culture you know finding out just more about the history of tea I would definitely recommend this so the cat was unattended and apparently at some point made his way into our bedroom and then into our bathroom and did his favorite thing in the world, which is to shred a roll of toilet paper. Leave him alone with a roll of toilet paper on the roll and this is what he does. He shreds it like a giant toddler. Yep. Our cat is a toddler. And now I am settling in to watch some YouTube videos as well as eat my lunch. I've got my taco bowl there with some chips and I've got A&W cream soda, which is totally naughty. I should not be drinking this. I should be drinking water, but I can't help myself. And then I do have um, What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours by Helen Oyeyemi, which I'm going to continue reading today. I'm not doing a whole, a very good job of like actually reading a lot um but i feel very relaxed and that's exciting um i did open my muse monthly box, la box last night and this book the dragon springs road was in it and this sounds incredible and right up my alley absolutely up my alley um, it reminds me from the synopsis a little bit of the tea house fire and that's one of a book that i just like think about all the time and want to reread because it was so good um, so I definitely think I'm going to end up getting to this in the next week. Um, I would say that it is definitely a diverse author as well. I believe she's from the author is from Taiwan. Um, but yes, I really, 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 really want to read this now. And I will probably start this sometime in the next week. We finished another one, Simon. We finished Lumberjanes, Volume 5. 5? Five? 5. We finished Volume 5 of Lumberjanes. Yep. <laughs> I fell asleep for like 30 minutes because I got really tired and then I made some tea which I still haven't had. Um, but in the meantime I finished Lumberjanes and I read some of um, What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours and I think I'm going to go back to that now and try to read another story. And then at some point I'll probably move on to Homegoing or Animorphs. I might save Homegoing and start it tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Cat's freaking out because the camera is casting a light that he wants to chase. I have not done a whole lot of vlogging today. Um, I did read more in Helen Oyeyemi's What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours. And the last story that I read was really creepy. I have about four stories left to go in this. I am enjoying it. I'll probably read at least another one of these tonight. 
Um, I probably won't do a whole lot more reading just because I'm feeling a little tired and just like not in the mood for anything right now. Um, so yeah, I did take some time and watch some YouTube videos and then um, I was also decluttering my lipstick which is why I'm now wearing bright red lipstick. Um, and also my hand looks crazy because I was testing out swatches and deciding whether or not I wanted to keep certain things. So yeah, I have a lot of red lipstick. That's, that's what I have found. <laughs> it's like we bought you two things that have that exact same texture and you chew on neither of them and instead chew on the one that we didn't buy for you. So I'm currently reading this, which doesn't have the dust jacket on it, so you don't know what it is, but it is Honor Girl. Um, it's Maggie Thrash's graphic memoir. <sighs> so I had heard about this, and I was really excited by it when I first heard about it. Um, and I just really wanted to get my hands on it. I finally got a copy of it for Christmas, and um, I've been eyeing it, wanting to read it, but not sure kind of holding off i don't know it's one of those things that it's like you know you're gonna love it so you want to savor reading it for the first time <sighs> i don't have words so i'm ha halfway through it and i will probably finish it tonight because i just am so in love with this are you filming a video what do you have to say to youtube I haven't done a whole lot of reading today. In fact, I've read zero pages. I listened to a little bit of uh, Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, um, but I have been cleaning this room. You can actually see the floor now, so yeah. We moved that table right there. We swapped it with the <laughs> that desk trying to do things backwards is ridiculous um and so i was kind of getting that all organized and things moved around uh, it's definitely made the room feel more i don't know organized to me for some reason even though it still looks like a cluster um but yeah so i've been doing that i finished honor girl whoo i don't even have words it just i really wish that that had existed when i was a teenager because I would seriously go back in time and hand that to myself at 17 and say you're not alone because it just spoke so so clearly to what I was going through at the time and just how it felt at 17 at camp to be kind of coming to terms with your sexuality and I went to a camp where it was like no no big deal and like I was there were plenty of people who were out there and it was it was actually at the university that I ended up going to so it was really a very welcoming environment but still from my point of view as a 17 year old girl from Tennessee it was scary and confusing and I just really didn't know how to feel or think um, and the age difference that's in Honor Girl that was not something that existed for me in that situation but like the feelings and the nervousness and the needing to talk to people but feeling scared and not really understanding my own feelings all of that was so very much my experience and it was just amazing because I've never seen that experience so clearly depicted in a book um, which was just yeah I mean, this is why Own Voices is so important because it's things like this that really help people see themselves in books and know they're not alone. And yeah, it just was one of those things that I I want to read it again and again. As soon as I finished it, I wanted to start it all over again. And without spoilers, people have criticized the ending and I am here to say that we know this is a memoir, so we know that's how it happened. But that was pretty much my experience too, so I definitely felt that very, very strongly and it just blew me away. It was so far, and it's only January, the best thing I've read all year and the best thing I've read in a while. So yeah, thumbs up Maggie Thrash. I, I really feel ya. So I finished this one. Um, I've been reading on this for about a week, 
two weeks, something like that, a week, yeah. And um, I really, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about this. I enjoyed some of the stories a lot, and uh, particularly the first one, and then there was a story called the Homely Winch Society or something like that. Um, I enjoyed a few of them a lot. There were some of them that I was just like, I don't even know what the hell's happening right now. And then they would end and I was like, was that, was that an entire story? Am I missing something? Is it going to come up later? No. I did like the way that things were threaded together. So they definitely had um, certain characters that appeared in multiple stories and they didn't necessarily appear, but they were alluded to. Like somebody would be staying in, like subletting the flat of another character from another story or they would be talking about um, something and it would have to do with a friend of a friend who was somebody from the other story. So I thought that was a really interesting way to weave the, the stories together. The element of the keys is something that is um, throughout all of the stories. But overall, I just, there were, it was just weird. It was just, a, I, I don't know that her writing is for me. So she has beautiful writing style, but there's just something about the stories that I didn't necessarily get on with as a whole. So I'm not sure I'll be picking up anything else of hers. Um, but I did enjoy a few of these very, very much. So if you like weird kind of magical realism stories, then I would definitely check this out. Um, I like, again, I like some of them, just not all of them. These are the four things that I finished during 24 and 48, because I know I'm not going to finish anything else. I finished The Art and Craft of Tea, Volume 5 of Lumberjanes, Honor Girl, and What is Not Yours is Not Yours. Of all of these, Honor Girl was the standout, and I am just going to continue to rave about this so, 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 so much. So, yes. Um, these are the ones that I finished. I'm really happy because these were all books that I owned, so some things that are off of my physical TBR, as that is something I'm really trying to focus on this year. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a reading break, even though I haven't done a ton of reading today at all. Uh, watch some football, and then probably dive into homegoing, um, and really kick off my Diversathon reading. This has been my reading hold all day. I've got my cat over here, pillows, a blanket, book and phone, more pillows, and a stack of books that are maybe reads. So yeah, I've just been hold up here, reading, reading, reading. And that's a wrap.